know, there are many, there are a couple that I can think of, certainly from my perspective, these are really pressing challenges. One is simple ways to deliver biologics. If we go back in history, drugs were largely small molecules and we would take them by pills. Pills are easy to take. We are all used to taking them. But the therapeutic landscape changed. Now biologics are the prominent therapeutic modality and they are delivered by injections. Now, every year, about 16 billion needle injections are done. That's a lot of needles and syringes. And as biologics continue to become even more prominent, I think there has to be a simple way, like an oral pill, to deliver them. I think that's a very important challenge and the one that we are very excited about taking on. And the second challenge is targeting. A lot of therapeutic modalities are delivered systemically and they go everywhere. And their true potential is actually limited by their off-target effects. I mean, we all know that safety is the highest priority in terms of drug development. And by not being able to control where the drug goes, safety limitations really become a challenge in terms of getting the best out of therapeutic modality. So you take any favorite modality, you know, whether it's a viral vector or an LNP, a lipid nanoparticle or any other bio, any biologic, the inability to control the targeting or inability to target it to specific tissues is a huge challenge. And by targeting, I don't mean slightly better concentration at the target site versus of target site, and I'm, I'm referring to a fundamental shift, 10 times more drug at the target site than anywhere else. That level of targeting is going to be essential to make most out of the therapeutic modalities. And that I think is a, a significant pressing challenge in the field.